Hi everyone, how's it going? Welcome to the channel and I am here for a list video for you guys. Now for this list, I'm going to be giving you some reasons why I collect CD. Now of all forms of music, CD is my preferred way of owning music. I think that is pretty obvious. So yeah, I'll go ahead and give you some reasons why of all the formats of collecting music, why I chose CD and maybe not vinyl or cassette tape or even uh, use um, streaming services. So let's go ahead and get into this list. Now the first reason is it's not an expensive hobby. Yeah, CDs for the most part I think are pretty cheap. Now obviously it depends on the CD that you're getting in it. Also depends on whether or not the CD is new or if it's used. You know, if it's still sealed and it's wrapping and all that, then it might be a little bit pricier. I mean, probably no more than you know, $20, depending on what the album is, of course, but yeah. Uh, but if it's a used CD, um, you know, some used CDs can be around $5. I know I've, you know, only paid uh, 5 for um, some CDs that I own. So yeah, definitely not an expensive hobby. Now, like I said, it does depend, so don't, you know, come, you know, complaining to me when you say, oh, I've seen this CD for $30 or something like that. But, you know, you have to take in consideration. Is it a special edition or if it's a, is it a deluxe edition? Is it like something that comes with like three discs or something, you know? That's all stuff that you got to keep in mind because I understand that, you know, this is something that maybe a lot of newer collectors of CD may not understand. So definitely keep that in mind. But yeah, overall, it's not that expensive of a hobby. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is the satisfying feeling of owning an album. Now, I remember the days whenever I used iTunes. Um, that was, you know, how I used to collect music back in my youth. Um, and back then, I wasn't really into many bands. But yeah, I mostly used uh, iTunes back in the day. And, you know, while some people might say that iTunes was convenient, it's just not as satisfying as, you know, uh, owning the album itself, you know, on CD. I mean, this can go for vinyl too. Yes, you could make that argument. But with CD, I mean, you actually feel like you own the album, you know, like opposed to just looking at the album cover on your screen and all that. I mean, you can actually have these albums up on your shelf like I do, of course. Um, and one thing that I wanted to note about that in particular is, you know, uh, like let's say, you know, you have guests over or something and... Maybe if they want to get a good idea of your music taste. I mean, they're not going to know because of, you know, just what's on your phone. Because obviously they're not looking at your phone. That'd be a little weird if they did. But, I mean, if they see that, um, you know, there's some CDs by certain bands on your shelf, that could be a good way of maybe introducing, kind of like low-key introducing people to your music and what your music taste is and, you know, what you like and whatnot. But yeah, it just feels more satisfying owning the CD than it would like owning the album like on just on an iPod or on your phone or whatever. But that does lead into uh, the third thing that I wanted to mention is that you can own it physically and digitally. Now, some people might not even realize this, but, um, you know, because I feel like there's a lot of people that are kind of like, uh, I don't want to say kind of stuck in the now like they don't understand the concept of uh cds i guess like they don't they don't realize that there's more you can do with cds other than just play them but you can also do cd imports of course if you have itunes or windows uh media player uh these are both uh great things to um great uh sources to um import cds to and most of the albums that are on my phone are actually the CDs that I own. At least most of them are. But yeah, I mean, that's definitely uh, convenient as well. Because if you buy the CD, you don't just have to own the CD. You can also have it digitally as well, as I do. I mean, like I said, CD import. You, know, you can have it uh, on the go, like maybe if you're out for a jog or whatever. So yeah, I mean... Um, that is definitely uh, something that I do find convenient, though. I mean, it's more satisfying uh, doing it that way, again. So now the next thing, now the next thing I do want to bring up is mobility. Now, mobility is definitely a huge plus, I think. 
Um, like you can take your CDs on the go, like if you're on long car rides or something and you know, it's just silent, you know, and you don't, you don't want it to just be a, a silent hour long car ride or something. I mean, you could take some CDs on the go with you and there you go. And yeah, mobility is definitely something to consider. I mean, you can even take them to parties now. <laughs> Uh, it's been years since I've uh, last been to a party, but and they probably don't even use CDs anymore, uh, you know, with parties these days. Well, not now, obviously, but, you know, parties, you know, a few years back and the future parties uh, that'll be uh, happening in the future. But you get you get what I'm saying here. I mean, that that's something that is definitely worth considering, the mobility with uh, CDs and, you know, how you can just... You could take them on the go and yeah um now some people might uh, use other sources when it comes to uh you know listening to music in their car and all that i know some people um uh use uh bluetooth and all that which is convenient it is but not everyone has that of course i know i don't have that so yeah i i have no shame in saying that i still use cds you know when i'm driving and stuff so <laughs> yeah i mean that's how i roll but yeah, mobility is definitely something worth pointing out. Now, the last thing I do want to mention is that the rewarding feeling of finding an album you like in record stores. You know, there's just something so significant about, you know, just going out and just, you know, going CD shopping. Like, there's just no feeling like it, I feel like. And that's, it, it, it's such a special feeling, I guess, you know. And, you know, you, you obviously can't get that feeling if, you know, you just never purchase the album and, you know, you just constantly listen to it through Spotify or iTunes or something. Now, I'm not, you know, uh, complaining or, well, I shouldn't say that, but I guess uh, degrading those who still use um, uh, iTunes and Spotify. I mean, if you if that's your preferred preference of music, of formatting, like a format of music, then you do you, but... That's just not how I roll. I mean, I would recommend this uh, to anyone, really, if, especially if you're a music fan. Uh, you know, definitely try out different record stores. I mean, that's the that's really the thing that I'm talking about here is the fact that, you know, you try out different record stores and all that. I mean, I used to do that with a friend uh, a few years back. You know, we used to, like, try different record stores. Like, hey, what's that store? Let's go check out that one. You know, they sell CDs and vinyl and stuff, you know? So, yeah, that, that is definitely a significant feeling, and also the feeling of finding, like, a, like a rare album and stuff. Um, I remember whenever I first became an Iron Maiden fan, I, for some reason, had a hard time finding their album Brave New World, and I remember find, uh, finding that CD at a CD Warehouse, and the significant feeling whenever I found that album, I mean, it's something. But yeah, this is definitely something worth pointing out. Now, yes, you could make the same arguments for um, vinyl as well. I mean, you could really make a lot of these arguments for vinyl as well. But I feel like a lot of these mostly apply to CD collectors, uh, at least to me anyway. So yeah, the rewarding feeling of finding an album in stores, it's just fantastic. So that is it, guys. That is my list video of the reasons why I collect CD of all uh sources of music of course so let me know what you guys think do you collect cds uh is there any particular reason why you collect cds maybe it's the same reasons why i do the the reasons that i've listed here so just feel free to let me know your thoughts thanks for watching have a nice day and take care